Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how I do my sky replacement effects. I just released this Instagram video. If you guys want to check it out, the link's in the description below. So with that said, let's jump right into this tutorial. So now that we're in Premiere, we need to look at when to use a sky replacement and when not to use one. As you can see, if I stop this clip, the sky is very bright and everything else is kind of dark. Basically, we want to amplify this effect by going to the color tab and then navigating over to Lumetri Color and simply bumping up the highlights about halfway and then bringing down the shadows about halfway as well. You kind of want to create a silhouette effect because the more contrast you have in your image, the easier this effect is going to be. So now what we want to do is we want to figure out when we want this effect to happen. So I'm jumping up and then bam, right here is when I want replacement to start happening. So I'm gonna make a cut there and then I'm gonna scroll to where I want the thing to end So as I'm coming like right here, I'm gonna have it land and end right there So now what we want to do is go to the effects tab and navigate to color key and Then drag color key onto the clip you want to replace the sky with go to the effects controls tab and click on the key color Eyedropper and click a section in the sky now what we want to do is simply drag the color tolerance up into a point where the sky is almost all black. So something around there looks good. Now click on edge thin and type in one and click on edge feather and type in one as well. Each one of these things are gonna be modular. You're gonna have to play around with it. So now if we play back through this, we can see that the sky is starting to be black. Also don't wear a white shirt because if you wear a white shirt, you're gonna have some clipping like right here. Basically I'm gonna have to mask all that out later. So all you have to do now is find a video that you want to put beneath it and cut it to the time and then drag your clip beneath your video and it looks like this boom the sky has been replaced now let's make this more effective so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bring it in so we're gonna go to a point where we want the sky to fully be replaced and then keyframe the color tolerance and then scroll back to the beginning and change the color tolerance to zero and now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing at the end where we want it to fade out so right here keyframe the color tolerance scroll to the end and make the color tolerance zero so now if we look at it, it looks something like this it, the sky is replaced and then it goes back out to embellish this effect even a little bit more We're gonna click on our top layer go to the very beginning and add a brightness and contrast effect to it So we're gonna match the exposure of our original clip with the exposure of the sky Simply all you have to do is keyframe at zero and then scroll to where the sky is fully replaced and make it the brightness down a little bit depending on your clip and I'm gonna boost the contrast as well You can play around with these different settings and then we're gonna go to the end again same thing keyframe and then the final clip where the sky is being completely gone we're going to make these zero again so if we play back through this it looks something like this where guy is jumping up the sky is being replaced and then down so it's super awesome but that is pretty much how you guys get this effect also if you ever want to replace the sky with lightning and stuff like that you can simply adjust your brightness levels individually by scrolling a little bit forward and then changing it back to negative 10 etc so that the lights are actually flickering with the lightning bolts but as always if you guys enjoyed the tutorial click that thumbs up button and subscribe because i'm going to be making some more stuff in the future